Tengers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and we've got the Russian T72 from Henlong on the table. And in this video, we're gonna do an overview of the entire thing. So we're gonna go over the controls, all the functionality of the T72, and um, you know how to assemble it, how it looks out of the box, and you'll see it driving around. Overall, what I love about this new T72, if you're looking into Henlongs, the T72 itself has been updated as far as appearance. I had an older one, and uh, it didn't look like this. It didn't have all the armor plating all over it. It was built differently. It was painted differently. So uh, first and foremost, this is like a new version of the T72. So all the T72s on our website right now are going to come and will eventually look like this once you assemble it out of the box. Now, as far as just like all our Henlong tanks, we have two options. We have the upgrade version, which you see the one before you. And that means all the uh, treads, the road wheels, they're all going to be uh, plastic. And then we have a professional version available for a little bit more money if you really want to bash with it outside on all types of terrain get that version because it has all metal as far as the treads the road wheels things like that it'll do better in a uh, rougher terrain if you will but uh, we'll show you that as well because we have one of those too so now taking it out of the box you're gonna see as it comes out of the box the uh, the tank is packaged beautifully um, it's one of the bigger box the t72 is one of the larger of the 16 scale tanks just based on its real life size and um, as you know or you may not know if you are a tanker you know the t72 has been around a long time it started production I think in 1969 it served in numerous battles um, for many different countries not just Russian um, and uh, it's just a good it's a good looking tank and it's 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 you know exciting when you get it out of the box so as you see me pull it out again it's all wrapped in styrofoam so you're not gonna have to worry about any damage to the tank itself you shouldn't anyway it's snug in there fit really beautifully then as you pull all the pieces out you're gonna get a few boxes one of the larger boxes and uh, it's gonna have more plastic accessories and bits and um, then you're gonna see a lot of accessories this tank has a ton of accessories and it's probably gonna take you at least an hour to get it all uh, together so be prepared to take a little time when you're putting everything on um, there's just a lot to it then you're also going to get your battery this uh, all these tanks now uh, with the new TK7 boards that come in all Henlong tanks uh, the batteries themselves also now come with an XT60 connector which is really nice so it's an 1800 milliamp lithium ion and they provide a charger which is USB that'll take like three to four hours to charge just by US USB so now you see all the stuff laid out before you and again other things you get coming out of the box you do get some smoke oil because the tank has the smoke feature which is awesome so you'll see that there. You do get an IR sensor, and that's for infrared capability because you can play with other tanks. And uh, we show you that when you when you fire at another tank with IR, the tank shakes, and whoever's tank gets hit five times, your tank gets actually powered down, and then you start it back up and play again. So that's always fun. But now as far as assembly goes, I'm not going to take you through all uh, the assembly. It's pretty standard as far as, you know, assembly. All you're doing is putting all these plastic bits on. So you really want to follow the manual. And what you're going to see with the T-72s now, since the entire change happened to the front of the tank, there is an addendum page in this manual. So start with that addendum page first and then finish up using what's left because some of the things from the older version of the T-72 still are the same. Um, but a lot of the newer stuff, like especially all the armor plating that goes along the sides, the top of the turret, the front of the tank, that's all... Uh, you know on the addendum so you want to go through all that first and again one by one pick them out you can use a benchcraft clipper um, if you want to take them out clean or you can just spin them off um, however you want to do it but just take your time work your way around the tank there's some really cool features to it from the big spotlights to again the armor plating the uh the big trunks on the back of the, the tank, the barrels, like the, the uh, gas barrels on the back with the tubing, which is really, you know, just a, a, a nice feature of the T-72 that really stands out. And then you got some minor decals. Now these decals, they're vinyl. So all you have to do is take a, uh, like a Benchcraft X-Acto knife like we got and um, hobby knife and just cut out each decal. So just find where you want to put that sticker. So again, here's what the tank looks like. All, uh, you know, all beautied up. So now let's get it turned on and show you how, uh, how she works. 
All right, guys, so first things first, you're gonna have to put the battery in. Now, with the uh, with the T72 and all the Henlong tanks, the battery compartment is underneath. So this one is a smaller compartment. All you have to do is unscrew, and then you can see the battery uh, is in there nicely. And as I said, the XT60 connector is uh, new to Henlong tanks. It's a, it's a much better connector than the older ones, so that's uh, really nice. And XT60 is more common as far as people when they're charging other things. So uh, it's nice to see that in there. But you just, once your battery's all charged up, just tuck it in really nicely. This just slots in. And then you just screw it down and you are good to go. Okay, now on the T72, uh, the on and off switch is gonna be underneath the back part, you'll see it right up here under the barrels. So it's nice out in the open, it's not hidden or anything. Some of them they're hidden in hatches. This one's nice and easy to find. So we could turn that on now and you'll see right away that our front lights, any lights that you have on the tank itself will start flashing. That's because it's not armed up yet. So you wanna turn on your transmitter. And now with the transmitter, the only thing you're gonna need here, you're gonna need six uh, AA batteries. And one thing you will notice on all the new tanks you get from Motion RC is that 7.0. That means it has the latest Henlong technology as far as the board inside. And we'll talk about some of those features, but um, better controls, better everything. We have a separate video on it. Um, the TK7 is really nice. And with all TK7 tanks, you get a little hotkey, if you will, a guide uh, for how to how to control the tank and set it up, if you will. Because um, there's a lot of stuff you can do that we won't even be able to get into in this uh in this video um, there's a lot of setup like you can you can change the speed of how the tank moves on the sticks how slow the turret moves you can really dial it in but for the purpose of this video we're not going to go that hard we just want to show you how it comes out of the box so again transmitters on tank is on lights are flashing now what you want to do you'll notice nothing happens yet until you arm the tank and that's what the lock button is so let's push that now I love, it's like got the diesel sound. And I don't know if you noticed, but right away, the uh, the tank sounds infinitely better than the older versions. There's a new speaker inside, uh, and I'm just gonna drive it around quick so that you can hear it. The proportional steering is infinitely improved from where it used to be. Like, if you move the sticks very slowly, you can make nice, real scale movements with your tank without it being too overly fast or slow. The other tanks were good with it, but something about the way the new board works in here, it just makes steering and driving even easier than it already was which is just a really nice feature and a nice improvement, especially at this price point in uh, the tank market. So now with the volume, you push the volume button and then you move it down. You could turn the volume off. So now tank's still armed, but volume is off. But again, as far as functionality, you get almost 360 degree turn. It won't turn fully, but it'll almost appear that way. So it'll go all the way in both directions at the same, um, you know, the same radius, if you will, which is nice. Again, some of the other features, you do have machine gun sounds. Oh, of course I have the volume off. So put the volume back up. You do get machine gun sounds. If you push the top left button, you fire the tank by pushing both at the top and you'll hear the mechanism for your airsoft BBs because this tank can fire airsoft BBs which is really cool. So I don't have them loaded now. don't want to shoot the cameraman. You don't want to get hit with one of these. They will sting a little bit. It actually fires pretty hard when it goes. So now as far as filling up your airsoft BBs, you'll see we fill it up. Uh, we filled it up outside when we were shooting them, but there's only one hatch on the T72 and that one is going to both 
fill up for your airsoft BBs, but it's also the hatch where you would put in your IR sensor. So if you wanted to play our IR battles with other tanks, which is fun, you plug it in there and there's a little molded circle on the top of the tank. That's where the, uh, the IR sensor mounts to and it just mounts with a magnet. So you find the magnet and it's not gonna go anywhere and uh, that's how you do IR battles with your tank. So that's also a great feature. Now the other feature I love is the smoke unit. So on the transmitter itself, there's a smoke button. When you push that button, you'll start to see that the smoke uh, comes right out. One of the best things about the new Henlong tanks is they replaced the old pumper smokers. It used to be like a pumping mechanism, it would get clogged, and they did it with more of an actual vaporizer. The smoke comes out a lot harder now, um, and a lot, a lot more of it will come out when it's loaded correctly, and uh, it also works almost instantaneously. So when I stop the smoke, you see it pretty much stops, and when I start it up again, boom, she's smoking. Uh, right away. So it's just a great added feature. Uh, I always love to see it there with the with the smoke coming out even though a diesel one probably would have been black smoke and gunky but it just looks cool uh, in general to have the smoke available and uh, all around just a really 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 highly detailed tank and a big size compared to some other tanks like if I took the uh, I have the Stug 3 available. You just see, you know, again, 16th scale, uh, the size differences. And that also explains the price why some tanks are going to be the upgrade version compared to another upgrade version will be a little more expensive or whatnot. You know, for the bigger tanks like this one, the T99, the Abrams, um, they're just, you know, there's more tank to the uh, scale, if you will. But all around, I love the paint job on this thing. It looks good. And as you drive it around outside, um, you know, it's just, it looks impressive as you traverse over things. Again, with the upgrade version, I wouldn't go over too big a rocks or try to try to really bash with it. Um, you know, the upgrade version's better for like your closed courses, great on the driveway, on your front your lawn will be fine. Uh, you could go over minor gravel, things like that. But if you really want to bash, then you go to the professional version because then you could do a whole lot more with the metal tanks. It has more weight to it. Now I will say with the T72 though, just watch out for that uh, that long, you know, that long barrel. It's got a long barrel, so you know if you try to drive through tight spaces, just remember that that barrel's out in front of you. Or if it's off to the side, you don't want to get that stuck on anything as you're driving around. But overall, she looks really good. Um, she sounds really good with the new speaker system inside, and it's just a beautiful model. Now, as far as loading up your uh, smoke, if you ever need to, they do provide you with smoke oil. So it comes in this little glass uh, jar, and they provide you with a little tube that's gonna get into, sp into the space. So you'll take out your dripper, put it on here, and then what you wanna do is just look inside where the, wherever the smoke comes out on any of your tanks, but you just wanna look in there. You'll see the tubes inside. It's hard to show on camera, but you would stick this inside where the smoke would come from and you just send in like two or three little drips down here. You don't want to overload it. You don't want to uh, fill it up too much because you will flood it. Um, so a little goes a long way with the smoke. But right out of the box, they already provide smoke. It'll start smoking right when you should start smoking, right when you turn it on because uh, they will go in there and uh, they say in the manual that it lasts about an hour of smoking with like two or three drops. Like it's not a lot. So this this amount of smoke oil is probably going to last you the life of the tank um, if you even want to use that. But overall, again, the features are great from the sound to the traversing to the terrain. And for all you modelers, if you're just looking for model tanks, that's what I love about these because they look great as just a static model. Uh, even if you didn't have any plans on, on using it for RC, it would look great on the shelf. It would look great with weathering for all you airbrush guys. You could definitely uh, do that and uh, you know get yourself some 16 scale figures around it and it really looks super, super good. So guys, if you have any other questions for me about the T-72 or any other Henlong tanks, please leave them in the comment section down below. Check the links in the description. I'll have a link to the upgrade version of the T-72, the professional version of the T-72. Um, I'll put links in there for the Benchcraft airbrushes and tools you might need um, for the tank. And overall, just 
a really beautiful, beautiful tank and just one of many. Definitely check out our Henlong tank playlist. We have a lot of uh, videos on our current selection and we're always getting more. Uh, tanks have become pretty popular. Oh, the last link I'll drop in there is a link to our Hobby Squawk forum. So if you do want to ask real tankers, the guys who are buying these and playing with them, um, you want to jump in the Hobby Squawk forum. Our tank section is loaded right now with a lot of tankers in there having fun talking about all things RC tanking. So definitely check that out. That'll do it for me, James, Alex behind the camera. We'll see you next time on Motion RC.